Hi, I'm Miss Ali Garza, and I'm the tech director for Lawrence Upper School. Today I'm going to show you how to clean your tech devices without damaging them and to actually clean all the bacteria and germs from them. You may not be aware of this, but most mobile devices, are, including laptops, cell phones, tablets, are some of the dirtiest things you will touch on a daily basis. And um, so we want to protect you, uh, help you protect yourself against um, any germs and bacteria and keep your devices a spick and span. So the first thing we do before cleaning your devices is you need to wash your hands. And you need to wash your hands really well for about 20 seconds. This will prevent you from recontaminating your device after you're done cleaning them. Then you should turn off your device totally and unplug it from the power cord. The first thing you do after you have shut down your device is to take off the case if you have a case on it. So take the case off. Then you're going to take a disinfecting wipe to wipe down your device, which could be a phone, it could be a tablet, a computer, a Chromebook, even a Mac computer. So I'm going to get my disinfecting wipe. It, these are Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes. These have both been proven to kill 99.9% .9 of all bacteria, germs, and viruses, including many that are popular out in the world today. Pay special attention to keyboards, touchpads, or touchscreens and tablet pens on your devices. Depending on what device it is, you might have to pay special attention to where your fingers are touching the device in particular. So, for my phone, I'm going to get all sides of it. I'm also going to sanitize my case. And the purpose of this is to get the um, all the hard, hard surfaces wet and then allow them to dry for at least four minutes. If you try to dry them by wiping them down with paper towels or other cloths, or with a blow dryer, it is not actually disinfecting your device totally. And the important part is to get all parts of the computer that you actually touch. So if you get the outside of your computer that you use to open it with, especially along the edges, you want to pay spe special attention to your touchpad, the buttons on your keyboard, you also want to make sure you touch all buttons on the keyboard and in between the rows of the keys to get all parts of it clean. If you have a track point mouse on your device, the little red dot, make sure you're cleaning that part too. And if you have a touch screen like this computer has, I'm going to use my Clorox wipe on the screen as well. Now, th this disinfecting wipe will not get rid of any fingerprints or things like that, but we're going to do that part in a step later. If your computer computing device also has a tablet pen, take the tablet pen out and make sure that you get that. Don't put it right in again. Wait four minutes until everything is dry before you uh, close your device or put your pen in. If you put it away or close it while it is still wet or damp, you'll get a sticky residue when you open it back up. Once your device is completely dry for at least four minutes, then you can get rid of the, any smudges still left on your screen, left over from the disinfecting wipe or from fingerprints, or any dust or little things that still appear. I highly recommend Windex for electronics wipes for this job. These are not disinfecting wipes. These only get rid of smudges and dust and lint. So you cannot just use these alone. You have to use a disinfecting wipe to get rid of the germs and these to get rid of the, the um, smudges. These are only to allow your device to look pretty after you've done, you're done cleaning it. Again, to get rid of the smudges on a, a screen, you just use your Windex for electronics wipe and slowly work from the corners, getting rid of all the dust that has accumulated, any smudges. You might want to look at it from different angles until it's perfectly clean. This will also work on phones and tablets, which get a lot of smudges on them. You just 
after you disinfect, you use the Lysol for electronic swipes to get rid of all those little like dusty things and smudges and fingerprints on your device. Let it dry afterwards and then it will be good to go. Once your device is totally sanitized and then you got rid of the smudges, uh, now you're ready to put it back in its case. So if you have a hard case for your device, make sure you have sanitized that before you put your nice and clean phone back into a dirty case. If you have a soft case for your device, like what uh, the Chromebooks in the middle school have a soft always on case, do not try to sanitize those. They're made of fabric and the, the chemicals in the Clorox or Lysol wipes could damage the material. You could use the uh, Clorox wipes on the hard parts, which are the handles or the zipper part, but not on the fabric itself. For teachers and staff or anyone who has a landline phone at home, I recommend to sanitize those as well. Unplug the phone first from your phone service and then use the Clorox or Lysol wipes on the handset, also on the uh, keys and the buttons and any screens that might be touched. Once they're totally air dried after four minutes, then they can be plugged back in and put away. So how often should you sanitize your computer or other devices? I recommend your devices should be sanitized at least once a week. If they're heavily used, especially used by other people within the same day, maybe once a day. If your device has a touch screen on it, so your phones or your laptops, even a Chromebook, you do want to be careful about over sanitizing your touch screen. They do have a protective layer that protects it against most uh, grime and oils that uh, you might have in your skin. And if you sanitize that too often, it will start to take that protective layer off of your device. So once a week is more than enough to kill most of the bacteria. However, if you are sick and you're using your devices, don't sanitize while you're sick. Sanitize when you're over being sick. Unless, again, other people are sharing your device with you. Um, that way you're not recontaminating your device every day after you clean it with new germs. Another question I get often is, can I use Clorox or Lysol sprays or other cleaning devices sprays on my devices? And the answer to that is no. <laughs> don't do that. You don't want any kind of liquid, including cleaning sprays, even water, to drip into the guts of your device. This could do serious damage to your device's motherboard or other circuitry, and it could void the warranty on your device. It is actually best to use Clorox or Lysol disinfecting wipes for cleaning your devices because you want, the, you want it to wet your devices and uh, enough to sanitize them, but you don't want it to be overly wet where it's dripping down into the guts of your device and damaging parts. How can I prevent my computer or phone from getting gross to begin with? Fantastic question. First, you can use the speakerphone or wireless or even wired uh, microphone and um, earpieces so that you don't have to put your phone up to your face where you might get makeup or oils from your face or hair onto your device. Uh, secondly, wash your hands regularly, especially after eating before touching your devices. Don't eat or drink near your devices. Food crumbs and liquids can actually get into your devices through ports on your computer that open it up to the motherboard and internal circuitry. Uh, we have had cases of computers getting infested with insects because the amount of food crumbs that have been shaken down through the keyboard of computers into the motherboard and basically turned the inside of the computer into an incubator for insect eggs. Ugh. And lastly, don't take your phone or your devices with you into the bathroom. Uh, your computers and devices and phones are dirty enough. They really don't need the kind of contaminants you might also get in the bathroom. So don't do that. Keep the germs away. If you have any further questions, please contact me, Ms. Garza, at Lawrence School at 
esgarza at lawrenceschool.org. Let's keep all of our devices clean, people.